Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your keyboard is typing wrong letters or numbers, perhaps randomly in some cases, on your Windows 11 computer. This tutorial should be pretty straightforward, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Similar process for Windows 10 might have to look a little bit different, honestly, but generally speaking, it's a similar concept as well. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up the search icon and type in troubleshoot. Best result, should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And now on the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And now underneath other, scroll down until you get the keyboard and select run. And if it was able to identify anything, hopefully at that point it should be able to automatically resolve it. If not, you can close out of here. And something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search icon, type in device manager, go ahead and open that up, double click on keyboards, and then right click on the keyboard device and select uninstall device, select uninstall, select yes, So now that we're back in Windows, we're going to open up the search icon, type in Windows Update. And if there are any updates available here, just go ahead and install them. So you might want to check for updates, but you can see it just has one update that I'm going to install. Go ahead and check for them though, and then make sure that you can go ahead and successfully install them and restart your device at that point too. And once you're done with that, if you go down and select Advanced Options, go ahead and select that. And now you want to go down, scroll down to optional updates, feature quality and driver updates, click on that. If there are any optional updates where I believe that the driver updates would populate in this list, they would appear here. So go ahead and install anything that would be listed. So pretty straightforward. One further thing we can do as well would be to click on time and language on the left side here. And you want to select the language and region on the right side. Go ahead and left click on that. Make sure the correct display language is selected here. If you have multiple languages, if it's like a bilingual computer, you might want to just go ahead and set that here. And if your language isn't even showing up properly, you might want to add a language as well. This should also be able to configure your keyboard too. And where it says English, you know, you want to click inside of here. You, again, you want to make sure everything is correct in country or region. Click inside the drop down and regional format as well. So again, set that to the applicable one for you. So pretty straightforward process on that end as well, guys. And if you had to download another language pack that would take some time to download and then you just would restart your computer and go back into those settings and make sure that they are set to the correct language and region. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.